an Afro-Indigenous Vancouver mom has been awarded $150,000 in damages from the BC Human Rights Tribunal after it found a child welfare agency discriminated against her. The tribunal says the Vancouver Aboriginal Child and Family Services Society discriminated against her when it took custody of her four children despite her being able to take care of them. Her lawyer says they're hopeful this case will change the way Indigenous families are treated in the child welfare system. One thing that came out very strongly in the case was how starkly uh, differentially she was treated in terms of the serious harm her children were coming to in foster care compared to uh, the agency being very critical of very minor things when the children were in her care. The agency hired third-party supervisors to watch the mother as she was caring for her children. These were sometimes eight-hour spans, and she'd get criticized, for example, taking the children grocery shopping, saying, well, that's not child-centered enough, and, and accused of just taking her time to take her children on errands. In the meantime, one of her daughters, eight years old, uh, attempted suicide in foster care. Another was seriously abused. Uh, by care workers. She was bruised around, seriously bruised around her ankles and uh, in her wrists. And the mother had to report this to the police the, and was not informed of this uh, serious abuse of her children. Um, so this was outrageous double standards that were uh, applied to this Indigenous mother. The tribunal says the agency was informed by stereotypes about her as an Afro-Indigenous mother with mental health issues. But the agency maintained throughout the case that its actions were undertaken to protect her children.